tonight we're going to rip into the Polaris and uh, fix Baz's sloppy steering issue. Hopefully, you're going to be the star of my movie. Yeah, check this out. We've done the fix a few times, tightening it up, putting Loctite in her, and, uh, and that works better for some folks than others. And for us, it's it worked. It definitely helped, but it, it's just a Band-Aid, right? Searched out the old fix, and it's J-Parts. Check this out. New Pitman with a double pinch on it, man. That thing just constructed very nicely. We open up Warehouse in America. These parts are going to be readily available in the United States and obviously easier to get in Canada. This is an upper brace bushing and a tie rod ends. Then we've got another Pitman, or sorry, then we've got blah, 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 edit cut, and what do we call that again? We got ourselves another God, God, for the drive shaft. No, 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 this is for the front diff. It's a um, pinion plate. <laughs> Spit it out! The reason we're even changing that again is because of this right here. This is going to take out some of the slop that I noticed was in the, uh, the pinion, around the pinion. So uh, we're going back into that for that reason. And uh, yeah, why not? We'll throw that in there as well. Yeah, and then uh, he, went, he went the extra mile because, oh yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> it is what it is, but uh, yeah, we'll get it taken up there. So. We're back and we're doing the unthinkable. Honeybee's got a blown belt and uh, well, we're gonna try to salvage what we can of a video. I'm gonna ride the popo all the way back. Retrieve the truck from the trailer and come back for it. Imagine that, there's another player, so all tore apart in the garage. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're gonna be drilling a couple holes. And she sits in just like so. Look at that, is that ever nice? That should do you, bud. Should keep you grounded. aftermarket clutches aren't totally indestructible i mean when you tow tow your buddy home doing 80 all the way for about 20 or 30 kilometers <laughs> changed out but till then let's get towed out of here this video up with a big old that sucks and it's unbelievable all the work we put into the sportsman boys it's like it's damn near brand new from front to back we're just about ready to button it all back up what the hell's this big gaping hole in the side of my air box on 
freaking believable boys the bike has been flipped on its side back in the past and it obviously put pressure here on this and it's it cracked the box he had no idea all this time it was just a ticking time bomb waiting to happen it just came apart it yeah it looks bad it looks bad we're gonna fix this bike she's gonna get a brand new air Look box how stiff this is. yeah oh, actually oh, it's oh. unbelievable the steering is absolutely unbelievable i mean when I said it was going to be better than new, I didn't think it would be that much better than new. But Huge shout out to Jay Parts for hooking us up with the parts. And, you know, yeah. it's a huge bummer. We're really sad not to be hitting the trails this afternoon. She's par for the course, man. And really appreciate the parts. Yeah. And in the end, we're, we are happy to find the issue before it became catastrophic because who wants to pay 10 grand for a new bike? Worse. Way worse. We'll get her back up and running. She's just going to take a little longer than uh, we thought. Day three, and uh, you got yourself a little more of an install than we thought we were going to be doing because we're replacing the air box now. Uh, there's the old box right there. So there you can see exactly where she smashed. After all the work's been done to her, I guess we'll find out just how tight she's handling. Got some lift. <coughs> Listen to you. Key in there. Spaz, give me a set of pliers, please. I'm happy with that. There she is. She's in. Uh, this tube here obviously is going to get clamped back up onto here. Yeah, well, that's why I left this one and it showed which way everything went. 850 sports, big boy. Yeah, it's rather primitive uh, engineering on some of this stuff, I'm not gonna lie. Here, take it, take it. Tighten it up. Just buttoning her up, boys. Got the wheels back on there. Ready to adjust the tie rods. We'll get her lined right up. This is the old redneck way right here, but it works. Took a little bit. A little messing around. I mean, that's as square as it's going to get. Top up the diff. Do a quick oil change. And I'm not going to even bother filming that, boys. That's it. We're done. Our P's and Q's in line. She lives. Let it warm up a little bit to dump the fluids is always good. The oil. Well, I do appreciate it, Spaz. We'll be back for you in no time, brother. Oh yeah, there's not enough cushion, so the seat's too soft. You bought them out on it too easily, so the firmer seat is better. For sure. Had a full face so it's really comfortable. Man, your brakes are so soft, bud. Where's Chad? What a different ride this is, man. Out of the gate, you'd like a little more. I hate to say it, but it works. 
just a little more solid oh, on the engagement instead of such a smooth drop. I'm quite impressed, young lad. I actually am, you know that? Like, you couldn't even feel those jumps, bud. So the steering, yeah, I see what your old man's saying. Like, any movement to the... And it just dips and dives, it's ready to attack. 
in a good way though you know what i mean well that was pretty uh different right boys i mean what the hell right on the pole pole why why not that one's dead no you're still going pretty impressive man i'm very impressed actually they handle really good really good so yeah we'll save what battery we've got left let's go back and uh see what the old lad's doing all right about to retrieve the renegade get out of the way little kitty that's the last thing i need on my conscience it's her spazzy boy don't know me hey striking a pose all right i'm gonna figure out how to turn this baby around Uh, and we're back. We're back to pick up the broken beans. It lands really good, you know, like really soft, really flat. Like it doesn't go nose first. No, I found it was landing super flat. Yeah. Yeah, like the odd time it would launch and then you could feel the back tires. Yeah, I'm fair, boy. 